Well, good morning, guys, and welcome back to Winding and Racing. Well, I tell you, we have got a couple of busy days around here, and what it's involving mostly is brakes. Rally bug, I've been driving it around, and uh, I tell you, it's a little ripper. I got it tuned perfectly now, and uh, it just loves hauling ass. But each time I drive, I get a little bit less brake pedal. So I don't know if that's just going to be an adjustment, a fluid issue, I don't know what. But we got to work on the brakes of this. Franken buggy here, if you saw the last couple of videos, we got just a little substitute motor until we get the Subaru motor built. But a friend of my son's gave him a 40 horse little VW motor. And we got that stabbed in there, and uh, yesterday I worked on wiring it all up, and uh, a new cap here, wires. Picked up the spark plugs this morning. So I got one gapped and installed, but I got another three to get them gapped, installed. And before I work on the fuel system, uh, which I did work on the carburetor yesterday. I took it all apart and cleaned it the best I could now the accelerator pump Port in there is totally clogged. So I don't expect Any kind of action from that, but uh, Hopefully uh, it will at least idle. I just want to see if this thing will run Before I go investing into a fuel system uh, This was the carburetor off of black betty which it had the diaphragm there for the uh, accelerator pump was just destroyed and it was just pouring fuel out of there so we ended up getting a new carburetor for black betty and uh when i took uh this one apart yesterday notice that the diaphragm was good i'm like all right great i'll just uh, fix this carburetor and throw it on except the carburetor, this is off of a 1600 dual port. The carburetor for that is bigger and didn't fit the manifold of this little 40 horse. So, I got this as clean as I could, cleaned up all the jets and everything. The accelerator pump is clogged, that's not going to work. Uh, also, somebody tried to make a... Uh, paper gasket for the very top and uh well it wasn't a very good gasket and it's 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 gone so right now there's not even a gasket on the top there got it screwed down as tight as i could and as long as the the float is shutting the fuel off i shouldn't have any uh fuel dumping out of there so anyways i'm gonna stick the uh spark plugs in this shoot it with some uh brake cleaner and uh see if this thing will even fire before i go any further with the fuel system uh yesterday i don't know if you watched my little video from yesterday but uh this being a real long run here a fuel line i uh wanted to put some air in the fuel tank to push it along and uh so it'll prime the pump and uh see if the uh the fuel pump on that motor even worked and well i had about 10 15 pounds of pressure in my air tank and so i didn't think anything of it but uh yeah i'm putting air in this thing and this tank exploded on me which was uh not a very fun thing uh i mean no gasoline spilled i didn't put much in to begin with so i mean you see it cracked down to that level that was a level of gas so i didn't have like a big gasoline episode but uh, having a fuel tank explode when you're putting air in it was was kind of nerve-wracking and you can see the weld on here wasn't even very good this is just a little surface no penetration at all so i don't know who built this tank but uh they didn't do a good job welding it at all in fact i got it pretty cheap off a of marketplace you can see it's been leaking anyways so i'm trashing this tank there's a sending unit in there and some cool uh accessories that i'll use but uh you know that's done so uh another issue with the brakes is the golf cart uh 
What's real funny, these are the same size wheels, 10 inch wheels. These are the front wheels off of a quad and these are the back wheels. But this section right here, they're 10 inch wheels. This is about eight inches across here. This one here is a full 10 inches in there, which gives you plenty of room to put a caliper up in there. As you can see, there's the caliper is not gonna fit down in there. So I got 86, those wheels, even though I, uh, because there's a different bolt pattern and I kind of custom cut and built these wheels uh, to fit those, uh, the spindles there, the hubs. And uh, well, they're not gonna work anyway. So I'll end up just 86 in those uh, wheels, but I want to get the brakes working on this because we know this is very close to running here. Then, the trike project. Another issue with brakes. I got a, now I do have a Honda caliper here and it just basically fits and bolts in here. Uh, but I'll have to put a master cylinder and a pedal here. So there's some work to do on the trike to get brakes going on there. The exciting project that we got going on with brakes is this here. We have got lowering spindles and we finally got the, uh, the disc brake set up. This would not work with stock drum brakes. So my son ordered and he got the, uh, the rotors, calipers, bearings. This whole kit now is ready to go into Black Betty. Black Betty is going to be a very cool car because we're going to lower it down i think that's going to drop it a couple inches there and uh, it's really easy to drop the back if you got to shift the uh the torsion plate there a couple of notches to get it down but it's 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 not far from being down now anyways it's pretty soft too so anyways those brakes are going to be going on but just envision that car all clear coated with that patina on there and get rid of the red paint that somebody put on there but uh we're going to get it down to uh, the black and gray and that neat little patina going on there with a the clear coat all lowered down so that's going to be an awesome car so what i'm going to start with today is the uh just to see if this thing fires up and if this fires up then i'll work a little bit on the fuel system and uh then i'm going to get this out of the way uh bring old rally bug in see what the heck is going on with rally bugs brakes because i really have fun driving that thing around that is a little ripper and everyone looks at it and like gives me the thumbs up i mean that's just an awesome little car i built there so uh that'll be next then uh We'll get on to Black Betty and uh, try to get this all done today. So I'm going to get to work, guys. And I uh, appreciate if you guys hang out and watch all of this stuff to the end. Because, uh, yeah, we got some neat projects going on here and we want to share them with you. So I'm going to get to work and I'll see you in a bit. Hey, guys. Well, a little update. I... Uh, Put the new plugs in this and uh, tried to fire it up and I'm not getting a pop out of it. So I'm, uh, I'm off to other things today, working on other things. I might have to, I never did anything with the points in there. I might have cleaned the points. I did have a spark yesterday uh, with the one uh, spark plug that I had, uh, but it was fairly weak. So, and from what I understand and remember about coils, they either work or they don't. So if I'm getting sparked, the coil should be good. But it's possible maybe the points are uh, uh, no good. Anyways, I set that to the side and I started working on getting the calipers all mounted up on the golf cart project. Which I did. Now, uh, that looks pretty cool. I like seeing those. But these wheels will not fit over the calipers. 
So my options are I have three sets of wheels over here. And I would absolutely love to put these sand ones on. And these are uh, the best uh, the best looking wheels I got. But they're not holding air. They're leaking around the bead and I got to get that thing moved like right now. So uh, the ones that do hold air, let me see, this one here. Is it's holding air, but I mean that thing looks like it took uh, the wrong turn on a hammers competition and ended up going down a cliff So I don't even want to use that one. This one's a little beaten up But it's flat anyways, so I got these two here And they're holding air that's a little chinga deer there, but uh, I don't know if someone painted that or Yeah Maybe that's just paint and I can uh, clean that up and get the uh, gold anodized looking back to how it's supposed to. But those are the ones that I'm putting on. And you can see the amount of room here that these wheels allow for the calipers. They're like totally inset and uh, allows a lot of room there. Same size wheels as the rear. But they're just, they got a different offset. So, I'm going to throw these on. Move that out of the way. So I can get Rally Bug in here. I got to get Franken Buggy out of the way. Both of these are leaving. Out of here. And Rally Bug's coming in. Because I do want to see what's wrong with those brakes. So anyways. Little update of how the day's going. Uh, my son is going to be doing the brakes on Black Betty tomorrow. He actually has bearing races in the freezer right now, so they'll get small and we can, uh, because these don't have the races in them or anything. Uh, on either side. So the races are getting frozen. So we can pop those in real easy, uh, and, uh, Get everything mounted up on Black Betty tomorrow. That's going to be the project for tomorrow, which will be awesome. So anyways, I'll be back in a little bit. I just got to move some vehicles here. Well, guys, welcome back. Uh, well, today we had some wins and we had some losses. One of the wins was you got the brake calipers in the golf cart project. You can see why I want to put bigger tires on there, but those wheels... Uh, those are the ones that I'm going to have to use if I'm going to use that, uh, that, uh, hub set up there. So, I think that's going to be a, that's going to be a win as long as I can find some taller tires. Franken buggy, I couldn't get that to fire and frankly I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on it with all this other stuff I have to do. So, I'll play around with that 40 horse layer later. The uh, Franken buggy here, I got the uh, brakes working good. All I had to do was readjust the front ones. There's this little spring doodad there that goes against the adjustment star, and those were backed away, so they were able to loosen up. Uh, so I got those nice and tight, and I got brakes in the uh, rally bug again, so... That's a win, but I'm going to finish up today with, see, one way I've been securing the hood, or the way I've been securing the hood, is with these self-tapping screws here. And they go into these holes here, and they hold the back of the hood secure. But, in pulling the hood off today to do the brake job, I discovered that a couple of them were loose, and I'm like, well, I don't want to do that. So, we got these neat little things here. Nut zerks, or whatever they're called. Anyways, they go in there, and they are a little nut, which now I can secure the hood with screws. 
instead of the self tappers just real real screws if i have to i can put a little bit of uh uh well oh, what's that called that red stuff anyways so they won't loosen up so anyways i'm gonna get busy with that and uh well, let's see how these go i've only done them a couple times so now i gotta drill some holes now it looks like i got two holes there i'm gonna go to the one in the back And you use this little doodad here. Screw that down. Now you can see how this system here will work a lot better than a self tapper. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, mount the hood, and uh, I'll bring you back so you can see how it all looks. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to call it a day. But uh, I tell you what, these real screws will work a lot better than those self tappers. Found some nice big fender washers. We'll hold that baby. That hood is nice and secured now. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, tomorrow, it's all about Black Betty. Putting the lowering kit on her and uh, yeah, this is going to be one sweet car. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned tomorrow because tomorrow is another exciting day at Winding or Racing. Thank you.